Alright, so now in this part of the tutorial, uh, we're going to be getting the textures that we need for the, the for texturing the entire building. So I want to show us a little, um, I'm going to show us an image of the, of the building which I have already made so we can get the appropriate texture. So this is the an another important step in uh, architecture visualization. You want to know the materials you want to use for your building. So in this case, I already know the materials I'm going to use. So I'm just going to use that reference image to kind of show me the kind of materials that I need. So I'm just going to open it up. I'm just going to open up the the image, which is uh, which is right here. Open up. All right. So obviously the first texture we're going to need is a brick. We're going to need wood planks. We're going to need this brown metal over here. I already have these textures, but I'm going to show you guys how to download them because I can make them available for you. Some of these textures that I used are not free some of them are paid so i can't make it available for you guys but uh, i can get you a similar a similar texture for you to use and uh, that brings me to the grass as well this grass over here you're seeing is andrew price's grass essential so i cannot make that available for you guys as well and uh, i cannot make any tutorial on that because if, if you if you're willing to get the grass essential it already comes with a tutorial which you can use to make the grass how to animate them and all that so or you could also go ahead and then use a free grass I've, I've, I've found out there's quite a few on YouTube you can find and then use on this area right here how to animate them that I'm not so sure I only know of that of uh, what do you call it the grass essentials all right these plants though they are free but I don't think I have the models anymore because I think I lost them they were free models you should be able to get them online but the other stuff that we're seeing here, the texture, I'm going to show you guys how to download them. So let's go ahead and open up our browser. And the first place we're going to go to is Texture Haven. All right. So I'm going to go over to Texture Haven. And uh, here I'm sure we can get quite a few textures that we need. And uh, here you can see it says bricks. Okay. So these bricks will actually get you the bricks of this wall over here. And I think this brick texture wasn't available on uh, on here it was a paid brick texture and uh, that was what I used but you should be able to find a similar one here you can see this one looks pretty closely to it or even this one right here so just get any of them that you think you want to use you could just click on it once you click on it you can get it in uh, what do you call it you can get all the maps in whatever texture you want but I would recommend you go with just at most 4k don't go beyond 4k because then if you have a slower computer then things are just going to start getting slow all right so uh, the next texture we're gonna get if you don't like the brick textures over here there's also another website you can get one from that's a uh, 3d textures dot me I mean 3d textures dot me yeah 3d textures dot me they also have uh, some free uh, what do you call it textures here so you can also go to the brick section over here to find some good textures. I'm sure you could find a good one here in the brick section as well. But I think the ones here, the brick textures over here will ha were actually computer generated. They are not photo scanned. So uh, it's up to your choice. Whichever one you want to use, you can get. All right. Now the next texture is this, uh, what do you call it? This texture right here, this yellow one right here. And I remember this one was actually free and it was from this website right here. The question is, where did I find it? So I'm sure it was in it was in it was some kind of paper paper something yeah paper and cardboard right here I think it was paper and cardboard yeah this one right here so you can see it says watercolor paper I think that was the one I used so just get that one and then get this one as well this one I used for the garage door I used that one for the garage door over there so get that one and then get this one as well and I think the next one is this metal over here. Now, the weird thing is the metal that I actually used for this wasn't this color. I had to change the color myself. But you can also download it as well. It was a green metal. And I think it's in the metal section here. It was a green metal. So just keep scrolling through. Keep going back. Go to the older posts. Just keep going to the older post. And you'll find it. I'm just going to try to find it here for you guys. Yeah, so I think this is it right here. So you can see it says metal painted. This green one right here, that was what I used. I had to download the I had to download the green one because I couldn't find a brown one, and I just changed the color in Blender and then used it in this area, these metallic areas in the top here. 
So just get that, download that as well, and you're good to go for that area. And now for the concrete area right here, uh, I think it's just concrete. It was concrete right here. You should find it in the concrete section. And yeah, I think this is it. This is the one right here. So download that one as well. And you're good to go for that area. And uh, I think the, which one's next? Which one's next? For the borders of the windows and the doors, I actually use the exact same metal material that I used here. So we're good on that side. And uh, I think the ground, the ground right here. So let's find the ground. Okay, it's not in here either. Uh, let's look in here. Maybe it was in here. And I think floor, 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 floor. Floor, 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 floor. Okay. Uh, it's not here either. All right. So at this point, I think I would recommend that's this area right here. I recommend looking through yourself and then finding which one, whichever one suits you. Remember, it's a concrete ground. Okay. It's not sandy. It's concrete. Okay. It's 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 made out of cement. So try to get one that is that is close to this one. It will look good. And uh, this material right here, I don't remember where I got that one. I think, no, I really don't remember where I got that one, but I think it was from one of these free websites. All right, I found it. It's this one right here. So it's Concrete Floor 01. That's what I used. So you should be able to download that. It's a free uh, texture. I literally had to open up my old uh, architecture scene to find the name. And yeah, he gave me the name. So that should be the that texture out of the way and uh, what other texture do we need to download all right so the wood okay so let's go over in here so i think the wood was also a pig texture but we should be able to find one here or in the other website so let's just go over to the wood section yeah so they are pretty good wood materials here there's one here you can use this this kitchen wood this plywood all these are segmented so i'm not sure sure but we can just download one of these, okay, and then we'll just unwrap it and then fit it in one of these bars, and then we should be good to go. So you can get this one right here, and uh, let's take a look at this area right here, see if we can find a good one in here too. Okay, all these woods are designed, so the ones here might not be an option because they all have some sort of design in them, which isn't good. So just stick with the one that I showed you. And then also I would want you to get this wood, this one right here, or you can get this one, any of them that suits you, any of the smooth woods that you're seeing here. And we're going to use that for the door, all right? And that's pretty much it. So I think that's all the textures we're going to need. Everything else we're just going to be duplicating onto the others. And that's pretty much it, yeah. So this is where I'm going to end this part. Hopefully you got all the textures you need because in the next part we're just going to be using those textures. And then keep in mind those textures that I showed you for each area that we're going to be using it for because whatever texture I'm going to be using might be different from whatever texture you will be using. But it's pretty much the same process, just maybe with different textures. All right. I don't know if that makes any sense, but hopefully it does. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.